Hi and welcome to another Instrument Choice Support video. In this video we'll demonstrate how to set up the Yoohoo Indoor Air Quality Sensor. For this you will need your Yoohoo Indoor Air Quality Sensor, USB adapter, USB cable and a mobile phone. In this video we are setting up on an Android so you will need an Android running an operating system version 4.4 and up. For the setup, switch off your mobile data and connect your phone to the Wi-Fi network you want your Yoohoo to connect to. To start, download the Yoohoo mobile application. Log in with your Yoohoo account. If you do not have a Yoohoo account, tap sign up in the top right corner and register for an account. You will then receive a verification email. Click the link to verify and activate your account. When logged in, you will land on this page. Press the plus button to set up your Yoohoo. Connect your Yoohoo to any power outlet using the USB adapter and cable provided. Confirm the LED light at the bottom of the device is solid blue. Turn on location permission to allow the app to identify your Wi-Fi network name. This page is to confirm whether the Wi-Fi network shown is also the one you want to connect your Yoohoo device to. If you would like to connect it to a different network, tap Go to Settings, connect your phone to the desired Wi-Fi network, then return to the Yoohoo app. Wait while the app checks the Wi-Fi connection. Next, the app will ask you to connect to the Yoohoo Wi-Fi. Press Go to Settings and find your unit listed under the available Wi-Fi networks. It will display as Yoohoo underscore and 12 digits. These digits line up with a MAC address that is printed on the base of the unit. If for some reason your Yoohoo is not displayed, unplug the device and plug it back in. Return to the Yoohoo app once you see the word connected under Yoohoo Wi-Fi. Ignore the no internet warning. Wait until your phone finishes connecting to Yoohoo. This may take up to 45 seconds. Here, if you have one, enter your Wi-Fi password and tap connect. This is the password for your Wi-Fi network. The light on the base of the Yoohoo will now turn green to indicate that it is now connected to your Wi-Fi network. Do not close the app now. If the light remains blue, follow the on-screen instructions to reset your device and you'll be taken back to the start to retry the setup process. Depending on your Wi-Fi network configuration, you now will be asked to select a region for your Yoohoo. Fill out the basic information about your Yoohoo, such as the name you want to give it, what room and area it will be in, the floor and time zone. Tap register to complete the registration process. Your Yoohoo app provides an animated walkthrough to explain what to expect from the device over the next 48 hours. The LED light of the Yoohoo will now switch off and the unit will check for updates. The unit needs 48 hours to warm up and be completely ready. Keep the unit powered on and connected to Wi-Fi during this time. You'll start seeing your first air quality measurements within two minutes. Tap get started, then wait. After two minutes, we start seeing our first indoor air quality measurements. These are displayed in an easy to interpret traffic light sequence with green being excellent, orange being fair and red being poor with the actual reading on the right. In this example, there is a small note on the bottom reminding us that some of the sensors are still warming up. Scrolling down, you can see each of the indoor air quality parameters in a graph so that you can get a better idea of the trend. This can be viewed by the hour, day or month. Here's what the data looks like when the Yoohoo has been set up for around a week. A new addition is the virus index. This takes your collected air quality data to help you know how to deactivate viruses in your home or workplace and how air quality affects your health and immune system. If the index is high, it'll also give you some tips on how you can optimize air quality. There are four levels of this index based on scientific analysis of five air quality factors, which include temperature, relative humidity, PM 2.5, carbon dioxide, and nitrogen dioxide. These levels are green is good, yellow is mild, orange is bad, and red is severe. Under Insights, there are tips on how you can fix any problems and take control of your indoor air quality. If you're not within the app, you can have these notifications switched on so that you can receive these notifications of air quality variations straight to your pocket anywhere at any time. Last of all, we have the menu. Here, you can edit the device details, adjust thresholds. These come preset, but you can adjust these for your application or individual requirements. Set alerts, here you can turn on or off alerts for each indoor air quality parameter. 
switch the way you see your data. You can select between lists, which is default, and grid view. Share your indoor air quality data with family and friends, transfer ownership of the unit, and connect to another Wi-Fi network. The Yuhu Indoor Air Quality Sensor is straightforward to set up and the perfect indoor air quality monitor for anyone wanting to take control of the air they breathe in their home or workplace. Want more information on the Yuhu or other indoor air quality sensors? Speak with an instrument choice scientist. Contact details and product information can be found in the video description. We hope that you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.